butt burner, an iron butt challenge. So let me give you five reasons why it's the wrong thing, why it's a stupid, I think, to do a butt burner. So let me give you five reasons why it's a big, big mistake and actually a stupid thing to do an iron butt challenge. Reason number one, it's boring. How are you gonna spend 17, 18, 19 hours all by yourself on a motorcycle, on the streets, riding, 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 17 hours. It is so boring. Obviously you can listen to music and look, you can look around. Okay, one hour, two hours, three hours tops. But at, at a certain stage, it becomes so boring. Don't even bother. Reason number two, it is so, so painful. I mean, spending all these hours on a motorcycle without riding position, eventually your shoulders are gonna hurt. Your back, your lower back is gonna hurt. Your legs, your feet, being in that same position for so many hours, obviously you're gonna be in physical and mental pain. 17 hours, come on. Reason number three, it is extremely dangerous. Think about it, riding needs a lot of focus, mental focus and physical focus, looking around, mirrors, surroundings, everything. Spending almost 24 hours riding nonstop, eventually you get really, really tired, fatigue, and that's when your uh, concentration starts to deteriorate, becomes extremely dangerous. Not only that, you're spending close to 24 hours on the road, which means a lot of the hours you're gonna be spending during the nighttime. Riding at nighttime, low visibility at many times, cars, estimating distances, very difficult. That's why it's extremely dangerous, bad idea. Reason number four, ego. One of the main reasons why we all try to do this challenge, you know, is to prove, is to prove to ourselves that we're able to do it, that we're able to ride a thousand miles in the case of a, a saddle sore, riding a thousand miles in 24 hours. Gotta prove this to ourselves. Many times you gotta prove it to, to our surroundings, to people around us. Bragging rights, yeah, I did a saddle sore. I was able to ride a thousand miles in 24 hours. Look at me, my ego is all, pumped up, so excited, I did it, you know? But to tell you the truth, I'm at the age where my ego, you know, <laughs> it's not that important to me, obviously, you know, everybody's ego, uh, you know, we all wanna prove to ourselves, prove it, uh, you know, to others. But at a certain age of life, you don't really care what other people think about you. All you care is pretty much your comfort. So truth is, at my age, I don't really care what people think. I don't need to prove anything, you know, with my background, things that I've done in life military and all my you know my past uh, experiences in life I really don't have to prove anything to anybody and the truth is actually nobody really cares around me if I did a saddle sore uh, an iron butt challenge nobody really cares you know it's only you in your mind you think that all oh, people will think that it's uh, wow something special that I did a saddle sore I did a an iron butt challenge the truth is people around you they don't really care it's only you in your head that you think that people care. But actually, nobody really cares. Reason number five, all the things I said before about why not to ride a saddle sore, they're all correct and they're all valid. And for that reason, I'm going on a iron butt challenge myself. <laughs> yep, next week, I'm riding down to my parents in Florida. I'm gonna start in New Jersey, three o'clock in the morning, hopefully be on the, on the bike. I'm gonna be taking, let me show you what bike I'm gonna be taking. Three o'clock in the morning, I'm gonna be on the Goldwing. Start 3 a.m. and ride 1,200 miles. That's where my parents are in Jupiter, Florida. I'm gonna attempt the uh, Saddle Sore Challenge, which is 1,000 miles in less than 24 hours. Obviously, my parents are 1,200 miles, so I'm gonna aim for uh, stopping just a little bit over 1,000 miles, like sleep somewhere, and the next morning continue to my parents. If I'm up to it, I'm able, and I see that I'm in good physical and mental fatigue, uh, not, uh, you know, that I'm still capable of completing direct all the way to my parents, 1,200 miles, I'm gonna go for it. Like I said, stupid, stupid idea, but I'm going for it. I'll be taking uh, the Goldwing. Should be uh, easier with the Goldwing, that's what they say, because the ride with the Goldwing has got great wind protection, very smooth ride. So hopefully, the challenge will be easier for me because it's a Goldwing. I'll do my best, I'll try hard. Peace. Wish me luck. In the next few days, I'm gonna do a few videos showing you all the preparations I'm doing to get the gold wing ready uh, for the challenge. 
what I take with me for the challenge. I'm gonna post a few videos, you know, just preparing tips and tricks and whatever. Really excited about it. Next week, I'm gonna be live uh, every once in a while on Instagram. Follow me on my uh, Instagram channel and hopefully I can do it. Hopefully I can complete it in 24 hours, over a thousand miles. And stay along with me to the ride. Come and check out the Instagram channel. I'm gonna be posting, going live. Every time I stop for fuel and for a little uh, refreshment, drink something, I'm gonna try to go online and tell you how the ride is going. So tag along, stay with me, and cheer for me. <laughs> Let's go Holy Shift. That's it, guys. I'm Sandy. You're watching Holy Shift. Till the next video, guys. Peace out. Bye.